the first season of Diablo 4 is finally announced and it is hilarious that how it works is closer and closer resembling a much more successful and much more engaging model of Path of Exile leagues. Yes, Diablo 3 also has seasons and has had seasons for a very, very long time before you try and tell me the obvious, but it is not as, uh, as resemblant of Path of Exile as this very first Diablo 4 season is going to be. If you're interested to learn more, well, keep watching, let's talk about it. I will quite honestly, as a player of both games, as a supporter and a fan of both games, I will tell you my opinion on this. First of all, uh, Season of the Malignant is starting on July the 20th, which is only in about 13 days, which is soon enough. And I'll be honest with you, it can't come soon enough because Diablo 4 is rather stale right now, at least if you're not uh, someone who is just enjoying scraping the very very top of the game right now with this lack of content just trying to hunt for some extra drops essentially that's all you do you hunt for extra drops but there is no extra fun arguably to be had right now unless you're playing together all right so the new threat emerges essentially there will be monsters roaming the land periodically and they drop stuff you you turn this stuff into what effectively is a legendary power if you like a certain kind of uh, thing that makes your your character stronger and apparently those things emerging information from a few sources saying that those things are rather strong that make you feel rather rather strong if you've never been in any season in diablo or in a league in path of exile this is where it's similar it is something that typically in these kind of games is happening on about three months like a quarterly rotation so every quarter of the year there is a new season or a new league in that league or season both games are exactly following the same model where a new mechanic is introduced such as those hearts dropping from the bosses of energy or energy whatever the currency is dropping from those malignant bosses in this particular case and then you convert that into purchasing or acquiring otherwise of some kind of power diablo 4 is going to be adding a new quest line looks like like it which is the least interesting thing for me personally and then this mechanic essentially as we refer to it in the leagues of path of exile this new mechanic is something that's going to be front and center of this season uh, there will be a new boss there will be new gear and this new gear looks rather appealing but this is where diablo went not path of exile way and yes path of exile has a lot of cosmetics before you once again try to point out the obvious to me i played the game for a long time thank you very much uh, it is more resemblant of diablo immortal at least in my humble opinion because you can see that it is a very very diablo specific kind of um, very detailed very shiny very nice looking armors and other kind of augmentations by the way path of exile features exactly just as detailed just as nice and shiny very very uh, like effects rich kind of detailed things so this is once again where it's very, very similar. It's very, very similar, except uh, what Path of Exile doesn't have and what Diablo does have now is this battle pass, which is once again where it resembles Diablo Immortal quite a lot. You get some stuff, like some, let's call it for what it is, my friends, pathetic stuff. You get pathetic stuff for free, and then you get somewhat awesome stuff, which is these horses, which are those awesome helms, which are all those ornamented uh, breastplates. You get them because you paid for the battle pass by the way before you ask me yes i have paid for the battle pass and because i was originally expecting the game to be a lot more feature rich and a lot more kind of uh grasping uh, for the lack of a better word but as you may have followed my recent news and updates i don't blame you if you are still enjoying the game in fact i'm very very uh, jealous but i am waiting for this for this league for this new season and i am planning to play it but the game, the game proper, the baseline game of Diablo 4 fails to uh, capture me, fails to capture me. And I have leveled a couple of characters to the top level in case you are interested. So yes, I have. But at the moment, Path of Exile is offering so much more to me uh, personally. So yeah, it is a little bit interesting and I thought I'll very quickly check in with you and share my on the spot, very simple opinion. My simple opinion is that... It's great that the season is coming, that the first season is coming. It is very resemblant of how uh, Path of Exile leagues are working. It has cosmetics and battle pass from Diablo Immortal. Everything else looks like they are leaning more towards Path of Exile league mechanics as opposed to Diablo 3 
very kind of bare bones, very, very light touch uh, refresher of the game, so to speak, that they were doing in the recent seasons of Diablo 3. And that is my original impression. So see you all in the game on July the 20th. Let's see if, uh, if it's all what we've dreamt for and if it can finally capture us and keep us in the game as opposed to the baseline game that right now absolutely is not worth my and your while in my humble opinion. And the free game of Path of Exile with, yes, paid cosmetics, but they are only cosmetics, um, is much more so worth my while and much more worth your while in case you're looking for something to do before July the 20th. Check out my other guides, simplified, very nice, user-friendly, beginner-friendly guides for Path of, Path of Exile while I have your attention. And give this video a like if you want more people to see it. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you very soon.